Hello, welcome to my channel again. I will be discussing the Newton Raphson method using Mathematica. Um, I'll take an arbitrary function as well in this video, similar to the one that I took in the previous video and the brief from the uh, by section method. Uh, assume that this is the function that you've been given and you asked to find a root within whatever interval or you're given an initial guess. If you're given an interval, say, 1, 2, 3, um, what I would advise you to do is firstly define the function in Mathematica. It's not difficult, it's not rocket science. All you got to do is f square brace x underscore close square brace colon equals, then you write the function, shift enter, and that saves it and that runs the command in Mathematica. Right, now to plot it. You use the plot command capital P and you take the function as itself and you can put that over there and you define the domain in which you want to plot it. Now I want to plot it between x equals 0 and x equals 5 and there's the function. So more or less over there let's say I'm a very horrible, I've got very bad eyesight and I say this value is more or less 1.6 right that's going to be my initial guess this is assuming that you're not given an initial guess if you're given an initial guess you can take that and run with it now i will not derive the newton robson method in this video um, i'll refer you to another video in the description where the method is defined the channel is called numerical methods guy that is very helpful i will not be uploading a derivation of the video nonetheless <coughs> um, the formula states that x at n plus 1 oh god equals xn uh, minus the value of the function f at value xn divided by the derivative of the function f at value xn and that gives you the value of the next of the root at that iteration. Now I'll illustrate with an example. So let's say we've taken an initial guess of 1.6 like I had initially alluded to. So what we need to do is find the value of the next guess. If we call this guess x1, then x0, which is our initial guess, is 1.6. And we subtract this 1.6 from since we've already defined our function as f, if we defined it at g, you're going to use g. Um, the value of the function at 1.6 divided by the value of the derivative prime, that is the apostrophe sign for English people, the value of the function of the derivative of the function at 1.6. And that's what you have, that's all you have to do. And our best prediction or our best estimate of the root right now is 1.333. So this is our first iteration. Now to go to your second iteration, I'm just going to type 2 over there. What you have to do is x2 equals. Now you've already gotten this next best thing. So you use that to get to the third um, iteration. So we're going to, instead of substituting our initial guess, this is our most uh, accurate guess right now. So we're going to substitute x1, uh, multi, uh, sorry, we subtract that from the very same thing that we had initially written over there. So that's going to be f of x1 divided by the derivative of f at x1. Why did I write x11? My goodness. Right, and this is the guess that we have right now, or the estimate that we have after the second iteration. So you can keep going up until whatever iterations or whatever number of iterations that you've been asked to go to. If you've been told to get a certain percentage error function, until that value is satisfied or until that condition is satisfied, you need to iterate. And I hope this makes a, a bit of sense. Like I said, I want to keep these videos as short as possible. Please do like and subscribe if you have questions. Post in the comment section. And I'll do my best to answer them.
Thank you.